Before you share the work set with everyone in your work set related project, you need to make sure that the various elements are placed in the appropriate work set. So, for example, you might have a furniture work set. Now, the good thing about work sets is they apply to different levels in your project. So, what you can do is you can select furniture on all different levels in your project and apply it to that one work set. So, what you do is you open the view that holds the elements that you need to move to the work set. So at the moment, you'll notice in the project browser, I'm in the 000 ground floor structural plan. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up these elements in the structural columns work set. Now, I'm not going to do all of the structural columns. I could if I wanted to, because what I could do is highlight them all. So if I zoom in real close, there's my columns there like that. So I can click there like that, right click, hide in view, and I can hide the elements if I want to. Now, I don't want to do that. What I can do, though, is I can select all of them if I wanted to by selecting another column, let's say. So let's add another one to the selection set there, like that. And what I'm doing there is just selecting each column, like so. I can then do a filter, like that, and I can set it up so that I can only see all of the structural columns. Now, the quickest way to do that is to do a zoom extents. So I'll just hit Escape there to deselect everything. And what I'll do is I'll quite literally select everything in that particular view, like that. As soon as I do that, I've got the filter there. Can you see that? So what I can do is I can switch off everything apart from structural columns. So I just work down the list like that, making sure that everything is off apart from structural columns. Now, the good thing about that is as I come down, obviously there's quite a few ticks there because there's quite a lot in that view. I'll click on OK. And now all I've highlighted are the structural columns. If I zoom in now, you can see, look, all of my columns are highlighted like so. So what I need to do now is here, multiple families selected. And if I come down in the properties palette, can you see there I've got work set, work set one at the moment. I want to add that to structural columns like so, and I apply that. So that's all applied. So they are now all in my structural columns work set. So I'll just hit escape there to deselect them and they're all done. So if I zoom in on an individual column layer, let's get in nice and close. There's a column there, I'll select it. If I scroll down in the properties, you'll see it's in the structural columns work set. So they're all in the right work set. I'll just hit escape there just to deselect and double click on the wheel to zoom extents. Now you can select multiple types of elements and still modify the work set parameter in properties. They don't all have to be structural columns. It might be something like, let's say, core and stair walls, for example. Something like that, where you're working in the core walls of the atrium of a building, the staircase walls. All of those have similar properties, so they might all be in the same work set. And if you've added elements to a work set that aren't visible in the current work set, and the elements do not display in the view, what you need to do is check your visibility graphic override. So you type VG, like so, and you notice you've got work sets there. There's structural columns. So at the moment, we're using the global settings so they're all visible. And you can go in there and you can change the settings. So I can just set that to something like show, for example, instead of just the general visible setting. So I can check the visibility quite easily there, like that, apply that, and OK it. Job done. Now, setting a starting view can be very, very useful as well. If you've got a really complicated view, something like this, you might not want to start by opening up your project with that view because there's a lot of work sets in there, a lot of elements in there. So you go to the Manage tab, and what you can do is you can actually set your starting view by clicking up here. Can you see starting view there in the Manage project? So if I click there, I can check the last view. So you can see there that I can pick a view. Now that list is so big, it's actually going off the screen there. So if I just hit Escape and just move that starting view up, we've got quite a lot of views in this project. There we go. There's all of them there. So you can see there's a lot of views there. So I might just want my structural plan, 00, zero ground floor, because I know that that's got my structural columns work set in it that I'm going to start working on. Quite often, though, you would set up a cover sheet and use that as your starting view in your Revit Structure Central project.